Hi, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about Zenzis and setting the record straight, debunking some misconceptions. In 1986, the average uh, uh, man's handshake pressure was 118 pounds. 30 year old man, I forgot to put the age, 118 pounds. 2016, 96 pounds. Okay boomers, let's have a real talk about who we are and why we are proud of it. You know the older generations like to talk about how difficult things were back then. The back in our days argument, right? And we respect you for your struggle. And we applaud you for the things that you went through. But that does not mean that we don't have our own battles to fight. Just because we don't go through the same hardship and difficulties does not mean that we don't know what suffering is or the meaning of pain or things like that. We are living in one of the most peaceful time in history. But that does not mean that we don't know pain. We are living in a time where the digital world is a huge part of our life. And it brings a whole new set of challenges that the previous generations may not fully understand, but they may not get it at all. Let's talk about the internet. Yeah, we spend a lot of time online and people judge us for it. But hey, it's not all mindless crawling. The internet is where we express, where we connect, and some of us even find opportunities there. It is a platform for our creativity and learning. So instead of just hating on it, let us appreciate how it is shaping our generation. Speak. Fuck. Good boy. My name is Jeff. And our sense of humor is different. We don't find the same thing funny. Hi. Okay. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Our humor to them is weird and stupid, but that's okay. And that's what makes it fun because we've got our own style of memes and inside jokes. Innocent bystander, they I drove a getaway car, but I cannot see I'm legally blind. We laugh at things they may not get, but hey, humor changes with time. Do you know the way? That's about the moon. Do you know the way? So it's fine if they call it dumb or stupid, right? It's fine, we find it funny. So let us celebrate our unique sense of humor and laugh at it, right? Who cares if they think it's weird? Who cares if they think it's stupid? We find it funny and that's what we like. Somebody touch my Now let's talk about gaming. Some older people don't really get it and they think that it's a waste of time. But hold up, it's not just a hobby for us. It's a whole culture, it's a whole different way of entertainment. It is the new way of entertainment. We make friends through game, we express our creativity, we learn problem solving skills, right? The gaming industry is not entirely bad. Okay, some of us might have taken it to the extreme, but it's not all bad. Everything that is good will also have something bad in it. The same goes for the gaming industry, the same goes for the gaming culture, right? And some of us even turn our love for gaming into our jobs. Right? Back then nobody heard of a 14 year old becoming rich through his own earning. But now we have because of gaming. So instead of just hating on it, let us appreciate the positive as aspects of it and the potential that it has. It brings a lot of opportunities to young people. Yeah, we have made a lot of mistakes, especially online. We tend to overshare things and we cringe at our past self, right? But that's okay, hey, we're learning, we're maturing along the way. We are becoming more aware of our digital presence, being responsible online, and we are even using the social medias to make positive impacts. So don't judge us for our mistakes. Also acknowledge the growth and the progress that we have made. You remember Raid Area 51 Kamim? That was stupid, yes, and most of us thought it was a joke. And we laughed at it. And okay, it might have been a mistake, it might have been dumb. But we learned from that. We we have moved on past that. We are mature, we are more mature now. <laughs> well, there's a lot of things to talk about, but let's wrap it up. 
it. We are not here to copy the previous generations. We are curving our own path and embracing the change that comes our way. Our journey is unique and that's what makes it exciting because none of the previous generation grew up in cyberspace but we have and nobody can teach us how to live properly in this era of the internet. We are here to make an impact, challenge norm and bring positive change. So let's break down those generation walls and foster acceptance and understanding. Remember we Gen Z's are more than stereotypes. We embrace our digital world, our weird sense of humor and personal growth. We are shaping the world in our own way and that's something to be proud of. Like 50 years in the future, people will actually be referring to memes for history. And that's something to be proud of. Well, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Well, until next time, bye-bye.